interview with Professor Levi Montalcini on the relation between nerve growth factor, the mast cell, and palmitoyl etalonamide, an autocrete substance. In 77, the two discovery which entirely changes the panorama in front of us was to find out that this factor protein that act also in a cell of the immune system, which is mast cell. The mast cells are not uh, the primary cells. No? And uh, people never gave very much importance to the mast cells, which are very active in allergic hypersensitivity, but a sort of Cinderella cell, uh, which belong to the immune system, is uh, producing this particular uh, substance, uh, agent, which have a very explosive activity. Not only we know that produce histamine and uh, serotonin, but also protein and the lymphokine, cytokine, which have a tremendous effect, like tumor necrosis factor, like interleukin-6, interleukin-1, and so on. The discovery in 1990 brought to the attention of the scientific community a new activity of the nucleus factor, no more only restricted to the peripheral and central nervous system, but also in the immune system, and eventually, as we know, also in the endocrine system. For this reason, in 1990, we proposed from my group in Rome that uh, the effect of an ogros factor has a sort of modulating effect on all the system which act on homeostasis, that is, nervous system, endocrine system, and immune system. So the new role which we attribute to the ogros factor is to act on all three systems in modulating, in a way, synchronous activity of these three systems, every time inflammatory process, immune process, and other come uh, and uh, bring the life of the patient in danger. This was a new discovery, to find out that the neurogross factor acts as a modulator, but it modulates particularly the activity of the mast cells, which I just mentioned. The mast cells, which was considered a Cinderella-like, is much more than that. It's a prima donna. It's a cell which acts by receiving the input from many immunological or neurological uh, factors and uh, synthesize different uh, cytokines, or some NGF cytokines, and uh, release. The substance released uh, by the mast cell acts in the inflammatory diseases by in intensifying the effect. It was necessary thought, it was to modulate the activity of the mast cell. We knew that the cell is under two different kinds of activation, immune or neurologic. The new discovery I mentioned a moment ago, in 1990, was that a particular cell, a Cinderella, the mast cell, received input from the immune and neurological system and a released agent which act by enhancing inflammatory diseases. What was important, we thought, to find a way to modulate the activity of the cells, not only by giving a general and powerful uh, uh, agent like uh, cortisone, glucocorticoid, but a different agent, which was called autocoid. Glucocorticoid is also natural, but when you give it in a very high quantity, this becomes very toxic. This is not the case for the autocoid, local endogenous substance, both are belonging to substances which uh, organs produce. The glucocorticoid are endocrine, and this has a generalized effect, while the autocoid can act locally. This is the difference. Well, the first application, which was found by the LIFE group, and we work in close connection with them, it is in autoimmune diseases, which are tremendously uh, uh, extensive uh, in many, uh, at least 50 autoimmune diseases, uh, and all these are uh, characterized by local inflammatory processes, uh, artery rheumatoides, multiple sclerosis, and so on. So the first application of this, uh, this agent, uh, autocoid agent, was in autoimmune diseases and also on diseases of peripheral nerve compression and so on. Every time we have a process which is highly inflammatory, autoimmune or not, you can provide this. So Professor Montalcini pointed out that our body creates endogenous molecules which protect against injury. She coined these molecules with the term aliamides. In chronic pain and chronic inflammation, supplying the body with exogenous palmitoyl can be 
helpful. This has been proven in many different clinical trials. With thanks to Rita Levy-Montalcini. <laughs>